Hi folks, I'm Logan. I use he, him pronouns. I am a queer, trans, forest-loving, tattoo-having, indie tabletop game designer. Uh, you can find me yelling about all of these things on Twitter at ink underscore and underscore stories. And today, I want to talk about something super awesome I've seen in the indie tabletop sphere this year. Um, this year has seen a wonderful collection of wildly successful indie tabletop game Kickstarters. Um, the first I noticed was with Monster Care Squad by Sandy Pug Games, uh, then again with Wonder Home by Jay Dragon, and most recently with Thirsty Sword Lesbians by April with Evil Hat Productions. Um, side note, all the lead designers on these games are queer, so hell yeah. Um, but what I really want to zoom in on is a wonderful feature of both the Monster Care Squad and Wonder Home Kickstarters that I saw. Both of these projects, by the time they'd finished, included funds to give back and grow the indie tabletop community. Um, Liam at Sandy Pug called it the Olamura uh, Historical Grant Fund, named after the setting for Monster Care Squad, and Jay called it the Wonder Home Community Fund for Wonder Home. What both of these initiatives do is bankroll and support creatives who want to create content for the Kickstarter game, in this case, um, Wonder Home and Monster Care Squad. This means designers can commission artists for art to support their piece. They can hire editors and consultants. Artists can purchase materials and supplies and everyone has their time and effort um, respected and valued. Um, I should note too that the folks behind Monster Care Squad and Wonder Home don't get any of that money. Um, it goes directly to the creators. Um, what they do get to see though is a flourishing of their game, expanded content and the joy of creating in community. Um, and this is incredible for the indie tabletop scene. It encourages creativity by providing inspiration, creates groups around these games that can work and chat together, and provides real support for those who are contributing. It's a prime example of climbing to great heights and then reaching back down to help another person up rather than kicking them down and, and taking the top spot. Um, and that is what is so exciting about the indie tabletop scene. There are these instances of people creating beautiful things, celebrating and being celebrated for it, and then pumping that energy right back into the scene. Um, it's so great to see uh, this show of mutual support, and I hope we can continue to see more of it.